To get started building Arduino JS applications, we need to first install the Arduino JS CLI, which we can do through npm. Since the CLI will be used every time we are building Arduino JS applications, we will install it globally. All official packages of Arduino JS are inside the at Arduino JS organization. Then we want to install the CLI slash CLI. Once the installation is complete, we should now be able to access the CLI by running Adonis. The Adonis JS CLI is a powerful tool when building Adonis JS applications and can be used at every aspect of development. It can be used for creating a new Adonis JS application, starting a dev server, creating and running migrations. To see a list of all what can be done with the CLI and their respective commands, just run Adonis dash dash help. This will yield the same result as earlier. As you can see, the CLI can be used for a lot of things, like creating a new application, starting an HTTP server, making a new controller, make a new Lucid model. To know more about a specific command, Run Adonis, then the command you want to know more about, and pass the dash dash help flag. Let's say we want to know more about the make command. You just pass the dash dash help flag, and we will get more details about the command. As you can see, the make model command can accept a dash dash migration flag to generate a migration for the model, as well as a dash dash controller to generate a resource controller for the model. In the next lesson, we will see how to create a new Adonis.js application using the Adonis.js CLI.